Hi guys, Rob here. I'm just re-uploading this video for this channel. To start, I'll show you on a map where Plantation Bay is located in the Philippines. It's on the island of Mactan, in the central part of the Philippines. I'll zoom into Mactan Island. Mactan is where you'll find Cebu's most upmarket resorts, such as the Shangri-La and Movin Peak resorts. And they're all located on this one side of the island. You can check out my channel for other reviews of these resorts. You'll see Plantation Resort here with the huge blue lagoon, which I'll show you more in a moment. Also worth noting, when you do fly into Cebu, the airport is actually located on Mactan Island. Plantation Bay is one of the most popular resorts in Cebu. It is also one of the largest resorts in Cebu with 256 rooms. When you arrive, a van will take you to your room and provide an orientation of the resort. Good afternoon, welcome to Plantation Bay. I'm Andre and I'll give you a short tour of the entire resort. And then to your left is our gym and our game room. For the daytime, all the equipment and facilities inside are complementary. So inside the game room, you can enjoy billiards, foosball, air hockey, table tennis, and dart games. Here. At the back of that, sir, we have a fishing pond. So you could have a catch and release or catch and cook if you want to. And to your left is our international accredited tennis court and recently we hosted the Davis Cup. It's our mini golf, so we called it pitch and pot and it's complimentary for in-house yes, guests. And we have another complimentary activities here to your right. We have archery and wall climbing and we will also play joint fashion. And if you're into fighting, sir, we have our indoor fighting range. So we have a minimal, minimum, minimal charges. And to your left, Palermo restaurant serving Spanish tapas and Italian pastas. And then to your left is Mugambu Springs or Spot Meditation Bay. It's an 18th century Japanese village orientation and it's rated as one of the top seven spa destinations in the country. The spa is a great way to spoil yourself. Enjoy the soothing music and the water features. Here you can take full body massages from Thai to Filipino. While not cheap, it's a wonderful way to relax on your holiday. And this one, your friend sir, it's Kilimanjaro Cafe. It's our main restaurant that's open 24 hours. And it serves international cuisine. And this would be the venue for the breakfast buffet or lunch buffets. The food here I found was generally okay, but certainly not in the class of say the Shangri-La or the Crimson. The buffet breakfast here again was okay. It all kind of feels like what you'd get in a three and a half star resort rather than a five star. And then to your left, sir, is Jamaica Market, where you could buy souvenirs, quick snacks, toiletries, and even resorts. And we're heading up with our Aqua Sports, where our natural beach located. So that's the launching area for water sports activities. So you can enjoy jet skis, banana boating, and we'll even arrange for island hopping. The beach itself is pretty ordinary. And as you expect, most people swim in the lagoons. And Fiji restaurant serving Pacific Rim cuisine, so mostly they serve seafoods. So if you look on Plantation's own website, you can get some more information on these restaurants. You do have a good choice of different cuisines here. If you want to eat outside the resort, you're probably going to have to get a taxi. So it's most convenient just to eat in-house. They also have themed buffet nights. The first time I stayed here, I enjoyed one of these buffets. Plantation Bay is all about its amazing looking lagoons. If you can get over the fact that they are just really huge cement swimming pools made to look like a tropical paradise. It's all fake, but it works. It's a fun place to stay with tons of activities, making it perfect for families as well as couples. To the rooms, if you look at Plantation's own website, it has rates starting from 160 plus plus US dollars for low season. When we're talking plus plus, if you add that on, it brings it just under 200 US dollars. You can book directly with the resort. Have a look at sites such as Agoda or Trivago, or your favorite booking site. Most prices seem to be around the same price, so just compare when you're making the booking yourself. If you also look on Plantation's own website, they do offer discounts for stays of six nights or longer. Check directly with the resort for conditions. The rooms themselves are reasonable. They come with the basic amenities like cable TV, air conditioning, the beds are comfy, and there is tea and coffee making facilities. It has a mini bar, but it's only stocked with water. The safe was a little small too, as it didn't fit my laptop. Rooms are a nice size and clean. The lagoon side rooms open up to a small balcony, and the lagoon is not far away. 
The bathrooms are a decent size and have a hot tub and separate shower. Water edge rooms are a little bit nicer. The amenities are the same though. Again, it's a nice size room. And as the name suggests, they are closer to the lagoon. So you can sit out in the balcony with the water almost up to the room. It does kind of feel special. The bathroom was basically the same as, as the lagoon side. No real complaints here. I do like Plantation Bay Resort. It looks good. It's fun to stay at. They say it's a five star, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels more like a three and a half star. If you want five star and lots of activities for the family, try J Park. As it stands, I do recommend Plantation Bay. It's not quite as good as it's made out to be, but it's still a good place to holiday in. Like most resorts in Mactan, it is pricey for what you get. Overall, the resort's pretty good. For more resorts around Cebu, please check out my channel. I've made plenty of other videos. For other travel videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.